before we do a bunch of calculation, we might we might see how much progress we can make um, using using estimation, trying to get a sense of of what kind of number we're looking for. So we need the area of this this window, which is a rectangle and a semicircle. Uh, but if we're if we're estimating about what the answer might be, we might imagine well, what would be the case if it was just a bit of a bit of a less complicated window. What would be the case if it was just just a rectangle, just a four by ten rectangle? Well then, well then the area would just be four times ten or forty, right? So does the area of our window need to be bigger? or smaller than 40. Smaller, right? Because we're cutting off the corners here. So we need something less than 40. Let's see what that means for the answer choices. Well, it's not A or B. They're each 40 plus something. C, we've got 32 plus 8 pi. Well, well, pi's a little over 3, right? So this is way above 40. This is 32 plus, plus, plus something over 24, so not C. And this is 32 plus well, 4 times 3 about 12, so not D. I guess E is the only answer. Uh, and that whole thought process could uh, could occur in, in, I don't know, 10 seconds or something like that, which would certainly be valuable uh, 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 in saving time for uh, for other questions. Now, I don't want to imply that you have to you know notice every single little shortcut that they build in, and they do build that in. That's no mistake that there's an, an easy solution here. Of course, you don't have to notice every single one, but if you notice three or four of those really uh, efficient shortcuts, well, then that's a, a couple more minutes that you can devote later on to uh, uh, to unpacking really complicated question stems, or you know, when you're when you're facing that inevitable uh, uh, question in which the it takes a long time to get the algebra to work. In any case, time is points in the GMAT, and they will build in little shortcuts as they did here.